Good afternoon, and welcome to an Ageless Partners uh, webinar. Um, Ageless Partners, we have two underlying missions. One of them is to accelerate uh, our path to an ageless future. And the second is to decipher the anti-aging code and help others to understand aging and what they can do now to slow it down and what's on the horizon to eventually reverse it. Uh, so today we're here with Simon Waslander and he has been doing fasting uh, for many years actually. And he has uh, built up a knowledge base and regime uh, that he has uh, found very, very useful uh, that he's worked on quite a bit actually. And he uh, coined the, the term or, or told me about this term, augmented fasting. And it's a very uh, fascinating new field, a uh, way to increase your, your ability to, to fast and to enhance them and to make them better. Uh, Simon is uh, an ageless coach here with Ageless Partners. And uh, he um, you're able to actually schedule uh, a coaching session with Simon uh, on our website anytime. So feel free to, if you want to uh, connect with, with us and, and set up a one-on-one -on -one with Simon, uh, you can do that. Uh, Simon also uh, is building out artificial general intelligence uh, in one of his other roles. So very, very exciting. Really, really appreciate all the all the hard work you're you're putting in, Simon, uh, across all the endeavors. Um, and without without further ado, you know, I'll, I'll let you uh, take it away, Simon. Thank you. Well, Jason, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here, to be uh, at such an honor as well, to be part of a network like Ageless Partners with everyone that you guys have within the network and with all the other coaches that are coming along. You know, um, so why is this important? So every single person watching this is aging. We are all aging. Aging is the main determinant of 90% of all human disease. So be it cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, stroke, you know, you name it, diabetes. Aging is the main determinant of all of it. And aging, as we've discovered in the past 40 to 50 years, is malleable. So you don't have to age quickly. And uh, there are many techniques now available through various regimes that can help you age less, age slower, and even for clinical practices, age uh, reverse aging itself or for clinical reverse certain disease markers, which is so exciting. And um, I've been practicing what I call augmented fasting for more than five years now. I've been obsessively studying anti-aging, rejuvenation, longevity uh, for more than 12 years now. And uh, I am so excited to share what is the culmination of a 12 year journey in science? We will not be discussing any of the uh, nutritional, uh, we'll be discussing only the broad theory and the academic and theoretical basis of augmented fasting and why it will slow down aging and reverse aging. And uh, just to be clear, this is not medical advice. I always advise people who have clinical conditions, especially clinical conditions, to consult a board certified doctor first before you start fasting, and especially augmented fasting, since it's very potent, should be done in consultation with medical professionals. So let's get it going. So the title of the presentation, as everyone can read, is Augmented Fasting, We've, We're Reverse Engineering Immortality. So these are the different models that we will be talking about. Each and every one of them have significantly extended lifespan in various mice models. So that's what makes it so interesting. So these are the mice models that I have um, studied over the past years, which have proven to extend longevity in, the, in various experiments. And, uh, we're, uh, and with the augmented fasting, we've just reverse engineered these mice models and really created a fasting regime that can not only slow aging, but even reverse it in certain cases and with certain intensity. So what's, what, what's crucial to understand here is that when you're under 30, your mortality risk from disease is almost zero. Besides getting hit by a lightning bolt or a car accident, people most oftenly don't die from chronic disease when they're under 30. And especially 
when you get past um, 60, 70, it just goes exponential. Uh, your risk for all kinds of diseases, be it heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancer, you name it, grow, grow, grows exponentially. So the thing is to understand what's the difference? What's, what's different from being under 30 to being 70? So that's the crucial part to understand here in the reverse engineering of immortality. Now, my favorite, this is, of course, the record breaker. So let's uh, start hitting it hard, it is, of course, the dwarf Ames, uh, the Ames dwarf mice. These mice have uh, 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 mutations in the growth hormone receptor, which makes them um, quite growth hormone resistant. So you see many articles and lots of people tout growth hormone therapies and how it's so great. But actually, if longevity and health span is the key, you want to um, make yourself growth hormone resistant. So these mice live really much longer. It's the record of all mice. And the actual record record is the Ames dwarf mice on caloric restriction. So if you take these mice and then put them on caloric restriction, they live to the equivalent of approximately uh, 100 to 160 years in humans. Uh, so you see maximum lifespan extension, you see mean lifespan extension. And what's important to understand here is that the growth hormone inhibition and um, caloric restriction do overlap, but they also have parts where they don't overlap and synergize with each other. So you can get some massive uh, synergies from these uh, strategies. The second, my second favorite is, of course, the FGF21 overexpression in mice, but also been proven in humans. FGF21 is a normally a liver secreted hormone that's only secreted after nine days of starvation without any tricks or advanced augmented fasting techniques. You have to basically fast for at least nine days to get your FGF21 signaling uh, going. But uh, mice that have been genetically programmed to overexpress FGF21, as you can see from the graphs, live significantly longer, both mean and maximum lifespan. So as you can see from the table as well, we're talking about very significant increases in lifespan. This, uh, again, another uh, uh, home run is the alpha clodo overexpressing mice. So alpha clodo is normally expressed by the kidneys under certain nutritional signals. And it's a very powerful anti-aging hormone. It's the neoclodo is the stringer of time according to Greek mythology. So that's why they named this hormone when they first uh, discovered it. And uh, alpha clodo is very powerful in its anti-aging effects. And it's also the most powerful cognitive enhancer uh, we know of at the moment. So uh, just injecting people with alpha clodo uh, for a short period increases their IQ by five to seven points immediately. So it's a quite potent cognitive enhancer as well. So that's uh, very interesting for other purposes uh, in, in that sense. Uh, another really um, fascinating study that was just published this year and it really shows the power of antioxidant, uh, not simple antioxidant, but antioxidant precursor and signaling molecules really extends median and maximum lifespan in mice. Although mice are of course more prone to oxidative stress than humans. But as, um, as we will show in a few other slides, if you're a top athlete, if you're uh, if, you're, if you have bad habits such as smoking or other things, which you should stop immediately, but if you have bad habits or in your, or in, you're in a disease state where oxidative stress is a, a huge problem, there are many techniques to mitigate this. Then comes, and this has, uh, so this is one of the longevity favorites, and this has been pulled by the National Institute of Aging's mice, heterogeneous mice studies. So it's a really large pool of mice, and it's been repeated uh, several times is the combination of metformin and rapamycin. So metformin is an AMPK activator, and rapamycin is an mTOR activator. And we see here, quite, not really maximum lifespan extension, but really uh, quite significant medium lifespan extension and all kinds of other biomarkers of health span and other things are also increased quite significantly. The only risk with this combination is that if you started at a too old age, so if the mice are too old or if the humans are 
old and frail, it might actually reduce lifespan. So you have to be careful with these uh, advanced techniques uh, as well. So take that into consideration. But started at median, uh, so started at a young age, this increases median lifespan significantly. So the fast mimicking diet, most people will be uh, familiar with Walter Longo's work in the fast mimicking diet, which is basically a, uh, sorry for my, uh, for maybe an erroneous statement, but a vegan version of a ketogenic diet. So that is what fast mimicking looks like. It's very low protein. And again, it increases median lifespan in mice uh, significantly, also reduces the incidence of many chronic diseases such as cancer and diabetes also very significantly as well. So you see not only increased median lifespan, but increased median health span as well. So you're not growing old and becoming a vegetable and just living longer. You're, you're living longer more healthfully. So that's a really important point to emphasize here with these approaches. Of course, uh, most of us will know that uh, exercise, so doing cardiovascular exercise, such as biking, walking, uh, running or rowing or many other variations does increase uh, lifespan in mice. This has been proven countless times. We see a large increase in uh, median lifespan, although we all know of the effort of running intensely for an hour or biking intensely for an hour is a problem, especially not only the willpower problem, but if you have patients which cannot uh, do uh, intense cardiovascular uh, exercise, cardio exercise for whatever reason, be it a hernia patient or someone's broken their leg or be it for other reasons, there are many ways that we can mimic and reverse engineer the effects of exercise, which we will talk about shortly. So the ketogenic diet um, has been proven to extend median and maximum lifespan uh, in mice via um, the work from the Buck Institute. We also see increases in cognition and various markers of health span as well on the ketogenic diet. So the ketogenic diet is basically a low insulin. So it's a high fat diet, but it lowers insulin and it, it has various beautiful epig epigenetic effects, mostly HDAC inhibition uh, working for it. So that's uh, very um, interesting. I do want to note, so the mice on this study only had one millimol uh, ketosis. Well, when if you're in the deepest states of fasting, human ketosis, we're talking about five to seven millimoles of ketosis. So uh, fasting and augmented fasting will get you uh, much more potent epigenetic effects than just a simple ketogenic diet. But uh, it is worth noting that even a simple ketogenic diet, which is not calorically restricted, does extend lifespan significantly. A more aggressive approach would be uh, lithium. I'm not advising lithium in any way. It's a risky. It's a risky drug. It's only for purposes of reverse engineering to see the mechanisms in action. So lithium is a GSK3 beta inhibitor, and uh, rapamycin again, the mTOR inhibitor, when combined with lithium, uh, increases lifespan quite significantly. And, uh, and, um, but lithium does have various disadvantages of being uh, kidney nephrotoxic. So you wanna be very careful with this, but there are many nutritional ways to inhibit GISK3 beta without being ne uh, nephrotoxic. So, but it is a nice uh, uh, pathway, which is uh, worth the interest here. Again, so going into the details. So if you wanna, so as we saw, lowering insulin, inducing FGF21, inducing the ketosis, inducing growth hormone resistance uh, is uh, one of the greatest ways to extend lifespan. And if we're talking about that, there are many nutritional su uh, su uh, uh, supplementation strategies to induce what's called PPR agonism. So PPR is a nuclear-based fatty acid receptor in the nucleus. You have PPR alpha, delta, and gamma. You know, those are the three uh, main uh, fatty acid receptors in the cell nucleus. And there are many nutritional supp uh, supplementation strategies to induce this state and a synthetic PPR agonists in, in, in human trials uh, almost reverse diabetes completely. But those are synthetic, really powerful 
drugs, and uh, uh, but these strategies are highly potent to really induce rejuvenation and uh, reverse many disease states. And you see extreme insulin reductions with these uh, strategies. Again, PPR agonists also massively increase FGF21. So you're lowering insulin, you're inducing the ketosis, and you're also beefing up your FGF21. So, I mean, it's, it's a home run right there. And alpha clodo is produced by the kidney under various nutritional strategies, mainly through things such as vitamin D3. So I'm going to give people a hint. But, uh, you know, you want to be careful when dosing the vitamin D3 uh, in too high dosages when you're not combining it with more advanced nutritional supplementation strategies. So, but uh, vitamin D3 induces kidney produced alpha clodo. So that's a very beautiful hint that we can discuss in the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions for anyone interested in the various pathways uh, towards anti-aging and aging glass. And uh, this is, uh, so we saw in mice that um, oxidative stress and protecting the gut's oxidative stress. And also in humans, we see various studies that when oxidative stress really becomes a problem for whatever reason, be it disease or lifestyle reasons, that we've seen um, synthetic MRF2 antioxidant strategies really almost reverse Alzheimer's disease. And in mice models, of course, obviously disease has often been cured in mice models and reversed, but it is a very potent strategy if someone is suffering from oxidative stress. You have different strategies to both induce NRF2 and supplementing with precursors and antioxidants. So we got some pretty powerful strategies right ready uh, for these pathways. And um, so um, if someone is suffering from diabetes or um, uh, blood sugar related things, uh, synthetic GLP-1 agonists with HDAC inhibitors. So basically combining GLP-1 agonism via different strategies and the HDAC inhibition from ketosis really lowers blood sugar very, very quickly. GLP-1 mostly works via the gut microbiome, and there are many advanced strategies to induce this in a safe way without having to use all kinds of synthetic strategies, but the synthetic uh, papers do show the potency of this pathway when it comes to blood sugar reductions. And uh, lastly, uh, if someone is suffering from neurodegenerative disease, but also cancer, it's also very potent for cancer, is the combination of GSK3 beta inhibition and ketosis and deep ketosis. So deep HDAC inhibition with dual GSK3 beta inhibition really reverses, yeah, across the board, many disease states. And as we can see from the left chart, there are many nutritional strategies to really induce ketosis by 700% within a day, within hours actually which we can discuss on the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So you can really induce ketosis very, very quickly and combine it with safe GSK3 beta inhibitors to quickly reverse a, a disease state if that is desired or just for general anti-aging. And uh, uh, the last slide, um, so we know that exercise is a good thing. We all know that we all want to do it. Either we don't have the time, the willpower, or, or we can't do exercise for whatever reason it is. There are many strategies that focus on mostly PPR agonism and uh, AMPK activation, HDAC inhibition, and those activation that um, uh, mimic the effects of exercise. And uh, increase exercise endurance in mice quite significantly. And this has been proven. And uh, I, I hope everyone has enjoyed uh, this presentation and I'm happy to answer any questions during workshop sessions or one-on-one -on -one coaching. We should see the one-on-one -on -one coaching as a multi, -co uh, as a multi uh, hourly sessions in the sense that the first session will concentrate what is your situation? Why are you? Why do you want to do augmented fasting? Do you have a clinical situation? Uh, are you taking? Are you taking clinical synthetic drugs? All of these things need to be taken into account in a few sessions, and then we'll be tailoring the uh, fasting, the augmented fasting, for your specific 
uh, situation and for your specific disease or longevity goals or health goals. And uh, um, I'm so looking forward to helping everyone and to be, and I'm just so happy to be on the Ageless Partners Network. It's so, it's such an honor and uh, really uh, looking to help everyone with my insights and uh, which with the Ageless Partner Network. Absolutely. That's very well said and well put together, Simon. Thank you. And, you know, just touching on a, a few of the last things you said, I, I think, you know, the, so everyone knows, I mean, the ability to increase your ketones to, la to that level that quickly, that's, yeah. that is extremely powerful. So for our, our audience, your brain has a couple of different mechanisms mm. to use uh, fuel, right? So yes. it, it can use glucose or it can use ketones. And there's actually a third fuel source that I, I won't go into, but the fact is, is ketones are going to be very powerful. When you burn fat, your body produces ketones and those yes. ketones go to your brain. And uh, that fuel source is going to be superior to sugar, superior to glucose. Yes. And, and ketones are a much uh, cleaner fuel source. They produce 10% more ATP per unit of weight than glucose. They're much cleaner. They induce antioxidant genes, uh, gene activation, FGF21 gene activation, and all kinds of other beneficial factors. So you want to be uh, uh, fueling yourself on ketones. It's, you just feel great. You feel awesome. Also with various people who have been on long-term ketogenic diets, um, they, um, they, all, they all know that they just feel so much better when they're in ketosis. And what the main thing, and, and this is one of the most important factors that I forgot, and in my sessions with coaching patients has been that in the beginning, people always think, that uh, fasting is something messianic or prophetic, that you need so much willpower, that's gonna cost you so much hunger and effort, it's gonna be a huge sacrifice, and that you have to be a prophet, starving yourself in the desert for this to work. So with all of these reverse engineers techniques, which I have fine crafted during five years of battle-tested experience, you're never gonna suffer hunger for a single moment again in your life. So if you, uh, so these things get, so once you're in three millimol ketosis, you won't be hungry at all. So it's all, often, how do we get you through the first one or two days of fasting with the supplemental and with all the techniques before the fast and during the fast and the recovery after the fast to get you into ketosis as quickly as possible so that you don't feel the keto flu so that you don't feel the hunger and that you have all of the advantages um, of fasting. And uh, so, so, that's, uh, so that's a really powerful message. And again, just to emphasize people on the ketogenic diet, even the most strict ketogenic diet, you only get to three millimoles and that's really strict dieting. And with augmented fasting, you can get to five to seven millimoles, which is an incredible state that you can only I, I use this term from Hinduism, it can only be described by direct experience, people doing the augmented fasting, you know, really experiencing it, and you'll be like, I never want to go back. And what's also important for me to emphasize, so I see fasting and augmented fasting as a multi-year journey, especially if someone is suffering from a disease state, it might take various fasting cycles to really reverse everything. You know, of course, depending on how much damage and everything that's going on, but I see this as a multi-year sustainable lifestyle. And I really want to emphasize that part. Totally makes sense. It's a, always a long-term thing, you know, there's no, uh, mm -hmm. no short-term solutions uh, for reversing the aging process. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely agree. And I think you bring up a lot of good points and, you know, there's all these, uh, what people don't realize is there are, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of information out there and for someone to go out and learn everything and develop their own protocol, it would take them years probably like yeah. spent on some level. And, and, uh, and also, and also very painful experiences like crash and burns uh, through, all kinds of, uh, you know, all kinds of experimentation, which I do want to emphasize if you are 
I have a bachelor's in medicine and a master in healthcare innovation and a, a network which uh, now with Asians partners, but I, I have uh, people in my network, metabolic doctors from university medical centers and uh, e-health professionals and, you know, all kinds of things. And, and, and even for me, it was, it was a journey. And to be honest, nowadays, especially with supplements as powerful as they are. So in a private call, we were talking about the second generation polyphenols or all kinds of micronized solutions for different supplements. The stuff that's available just on the market is very, very potent. And yes. you do not want to be experimenting with such potent stuff, especially in combinations without any guidance. And then, you know, that's something that you don't want to do and we want to be able to provide you the guidance and the first steps and really guide you during your health and longevity journey absolutely and you know for us it's it's all about it's all about learning i mean you know if someone has uh you know just to recap if someone has some kind of really bad issue they should go see a doctor mm -hmm. definitely you know we're not trying to diagnose any conditions but this, this, this learning and this knowledge, um, we feel, you know, I, I feel has tremendous value. And I know I've done a little bit of fasting, not as much as Simon, you know, in the past, <laughs> but uh, I've, I've done a little bit and I feel, I usually feel good, um, you know, and especially the fact that you can take a, even a supplement to mimic some of the effects mm -hmm. some of, the benefits of fasting. Just when I discovered that, I mean, that was just kind of, um, incredibly intriguing for me so. yes and and um, so fasting has been known for millennia it's it's in sanskrit text it's mentioned more than 70 times in the bible and so people have known for millennia that fasting is beneficial the thing is like back then you were just water fasting and going to a secluded area and starving yourself and and, and the thing is that uh, nowadays there are so many strategies to make it easy and seamless. You do not have to suffer hunger. You do not have to suffer from keto flu. You can be in a deep fasting state within, within hours, basically, if you're, if you're aggressive enough. And uh, that's, uh, that's a game changer here. And really what's also very important before we, uh, before we forget, so, escape aging velocity we are so close maybe 10 to maximum 20 years away of having affordable anti-aging therapies we're talking about the gene therapies the stem cell therapies the exosomes so um, even nanotechnology really rejuvenating yourself with advanced technology is only affordably it's already available actually all of the therapies that we have that I've just discussed in that sense, the, 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 the gene, the stem cell, the exosomes, and even some nanotechnology uh, things are already available, but it's just too expensive for the average person. This augmented fasting is the bridge one to keep you young and healthy so that you can reach the bridge two and three of those advanced technologies and so that we can live in a society where aging is a thing of the past, where we're ageless. That's the goal. That is the That's goal. That's the goal. <laughs> well said. Uh, just, to, I, I definitely agree. And, you know, just to echo, I mean, reaching that point uh, is going to be, you know, definitely, it's, it's definitely a big, a big accomplishment for our humanity. Uh, because I feel like at this point, now that we know that aging is reversible, mm -hmm. we now have a moral obligation to bring us towards an ageless future. And, you know, our goal with Ageless Partners is to bring as many people along yes. and, you know, with Simon's help, we hope to bring his, uh, you know, help, help a lot of people. Uh, and that's, that, that's our goal to save. And especially people should ask themselves, like, do you want to grow old? Do you want to lose your abilities? Do you want to become sick with a chronic disease? No one wants that. But the thing is, like, when people just listen just hear the word anti-age oh it's so far off i'm going to be long dead by the time they invent something and that's why i shouldn't care these technologies and all the techniques that we're discussing and with things like augmented fasting are available today right now so you can start slowing down and maybe even reverse your aging today right now 
And that's really important to emphasize. This is not some Star Trek thing that's 100 years away. It's, it's already happening. And the thing is we, uh, and that's why I'm so happy to be joining the Indie Ageless Partners Network is to get as many people as possible through in my own bridge one, which is augmented fasting to get us to the Ageless Society where we, and, and it's not just death. So death is such a tragedy, tragedy, you know, people really dying and, you know, losing loved ones. That's, that's a huge loss in itself, but also we shouldn't forget aging causes such profound human suffering when it comes to the disease state. So someone being totally paralyzed from stroke, someone suffering from cancer pain because the cancer spread to their bones, uh, people suffering from a heart attack and not being able to walk anymore. So there is absolutely nothing good about aging in that sense. So it is our moral obligation uh, as a team, but also as humanity to put emphasis on this so that we can create a society where we all want to live in and where we reduce human suffering, which is something that one of the goals that humans have been talking about for hundreds of thousands of years, basically, not just, not even, even older than Sanskrit in that kind of time. So even if you look at caveman paintings, they, they were all dreaming of living longer, living healthierly. And, and, and those are, are very important aspects of the human experience. Absolutely. It's always been sought after through mm -hmm. history of humans, but we now have the technology and tools to do yes. something about it. And, and we will. Uh, well, thanks again, Simon. Really, really appreciate it. Any last thoughts for the audience? So um, uh, I, I really, I want to welcome you to the Ageless Partners Network. And uh, I so look forward to helping you uh, on a one-on-one -on -one or on a group session basis for any of your health or longevity needs. Uh, we're doing this in a highly professional, concise manner. And uh, we'll be, and there are many other ageless coaches coming online. We have networks with biomarkers and all kinds of uh, specialists in women's health, for example, and those kinds of factors, which, um, so there are many coaches, there are many tools available, and we just hope to serve humanity with this. And I want to play a small, humble contribution in this goal of reaching an ageless society. Absolutely. Well said. And um, we will have a lot of coaches, as, as you said, and uh, we have a lifestyle guide too, actually, yes. that we're selling. So um, feel free to t take a look and, uh, you know, go, go schedule an appointment with Simon as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for your attention, everyone. Thanks, Simon. Appreciate it.